and I was really excited about it. And then I saw a message and the message said, hey, can you hold on to these for, I can't remember how many weeks, three weeks, 10 days, seven, I can't even remember what he said. As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin, we are in my eBay cave once again, and we're, we're inching closer. I know I say that every day, but it really is true. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I can't wait to do the first video from in there. And I think actually the first video from in there is going to be us giving some money to Travis and Lisa, which is going to be partly a gift from me, but mostly a gift from you guys out there and your generosity with viewer sales and then just straight out donations, which is gonna be neat. So hopefully we'll do that in the next uh, few days or so and make it a video and we'll give you a little bit of tour of the inside of the cabin at the same time. I think it's what we'll do. We'll let, maybe we'll let them show us a little bit. So in the meantime, I'm all alone here once again. Actually, I'm not all alone but Reagan and Turner and Blue Ridge Mama, the homeschool hustlers, are off at another gymnastics meet. They are in uh, Virginia Beach, I think, this time. And so they'll be back in a couple of days. So it's me, and it's Bubba, and it's Sophie, and it's Pepper, and it's that darn cat that I don't even want to mention her name, but uh, it's Boots as well. So at any rate, we've got some interesting sales today. Matter of fact, we had a great sale. I was so excited today when I saw something sell that I had just listed not too long ago and I had waited and waited to list these and I decided that I was just gonna list them and I'll explain why in just a minute. And I was excited because there were multiples. We had somebody buy three different items, the same item but slightly different and you'll see in a minute. And it was $117 sale plus shipping and I'm like, sweet, that was a nice little payday right there. And then when I came down here, I saw a message and I'm like, oh geez. So I'll let you in on that one a little bit. And so it's probably gonna end up not being a sale or at least not being a sale for right now. We had a couple of Mercari sales. I sold something on Mercari, which I almost never do because I almost never list on Mercari. But there is one particular item that I do every once in a while list on Mercari. And Blue Ridge Mama had a Mercari sale yesterday and she said she was gonna come down and when she did it, she's gonna make a video and send it to me. And then she said she didn't make the video. So uh, she sold another thing on Mercari today. So I'll, I'll let you take a look at that. Matter of fact, it's right back here. And we'll talk about that. So two Mercari sales in the same day and then one yesterday. And we haven't had any for weeks. So, But in all fairness, I haven't listed anything on there either. So I haven't listed much on eBay for that matter. We also had a viewer sale that was not done on eBay. It was something here on camera that somebody saw and said, hey, are you, have you listed that yet? And I said, no, I haven't listed it yet. I just bought it. They said, well, I'd like to have it. So they reached out and we made a sale off of eBay. Hadn't listed it on eBay yet. And we'll let you take a look at that. And of course, the obligatory in a man. We sent a few more out and one special, special uh, purchase from a uh, YouTube friend and we'll talk about that as well. And then a few more sales. So we had an overall good day of sales and we're pretty happy about it. We're gonna make a little bit of money. Let's take a look. All right, let's start with that sale. And I just, obviously I picked it up. It was sitting right here and somebody saw it in yesterday's video or two days ago, I guess it is at this point. And they said, hey, is that thing gonna, are you gonna list that thing or have you listed it? And how much do you want for it? And of course, this is Reagan Bush, and it's from the 1980 campaign. And I thought it was, what I thought was interesting is down here, let's make America great again. You know, I teach history, so I kind of look back at the history of things, and I did not know that that was, I, I'm assuming it was one of the mottos. I don't think this was a popular motto for that campaign. I highly doubt it was anyways. It might just have appeared on a few little things. But I did think that was kind of interesting. So at any rate, it's a really nice little pin from the 1980 campaign. And so it's in really good shape. Everything's in great shape here. And I figured, hey, when I saw this thing, I saw this at a private pick that I don't think I've aired. Matter of fact, I'm sure I haven't aired it yet. I'm not sure when it'll come out, but we'll put it out at some point. And this little pennant back here as well. And that was for the inauguration, I think in 81. 
And I don't, I haven't dealt much in political things. I just haven't found a lot around here, to be perfectly honest with you. I don't know why. I've sold a few political things over the years. I think I sold an Eisenhower button one time, and I found a JFK item, and it was a paper item, and I sold that years and years ago, and I can't remember exactly what it was. It was some kind of poster. It wasn't that heavy, like, cardstock poster. It was almost like paper, but a little bit thicker. And I sold that JFK item. And I've sold a few. Matter of fact, the very first item I sold on eBay was an audio cassette of the Nixon Kennedy debates. And so there's a little political item. But I haven't come across too many political items. I figured I was going to list this thing for 15 bucks. I bought it at a private pick in a giant lot, again, with that pennant back there. And then when the viewer contacted me, I think through Instagram, they said, hey, how much would you like for it? And then they said they're going to send me Tennessee plates. I'm like, geez, you're going to send me plates and then I'm going to charge you for this thing? So uh, we came to a, to a better deal than I would have put it on eBay for, for sure. And she insisted that she was going to pay more than I wanted for it. So that's really, really kind of you. So let me mention their name real quick. This one's going out to Quinn's Trends, and it's going out to her husband. And she mentioned that they're going to start a YouTube channel. I don't know if that's going to be the name of it, Quinn's Trends or not. But if it is, we'll check it out when you get it up and running. Just send us a little message and we'll check it out. Thanks so much. We're going to send this thing out via pirate ship and i've got the perfect little box i could put this in a padded envelope but sometimes you know they got these pins and they'll get crushed and bent down so i have a thin little box that i'm going to put this thing in all right this one's going out to richard and richard leaves a great message he says really enjoy your content thanks so much for sharing i recently found a louisville john deere hat thanks so much for the bolo so if you've been around the show for a while we have sold two of the original denim John Deere Louisville hats, the snapbacks. And I, I want to say we got 250 for both. I can't remember. You guys probably remember better than I do. But I think we got, I know we got at least 200 but I think we got 250 for one and maybe just below that, 240 for the other. And they were both in really, really good condition. So hopefully the one you found is in good condition too. And keep us updated in the comments. Let us know how much you, you get for it when you finally do sell it. All right, here is that Blue Ridge Mama Mercari item, and she's gone and sent me a message with the address. We'll ship this via pirate ship, and I think it sold for $18. I have to check what she said in her message, and this is not a Goodwill item because it doesn't have that hole in it. I remember buying a few Disney ones from a garage sale for a dollar a piece, and I can't remember if Bambi was in that lot or not, but my guess is that's where we got it and we paid a dollar for it. So she listed it, she cross-listed it, so I have to make sure this isn't on eBay. We'll have to get it off of there. Speaking of, I just gotta mention this. Speaking of a John Deere hat, Pick and Roll just sent me a message and said he found that John Deere hat and he sold it for 38 bucks. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for sending that to me. All right, we have one of these guys going off to Carrie and one of these going to Amber. And Amber also bought this Tupperware, and this is like a deviled egg or a hard-boiled egg case. And I sell these every once in a while. They're not huge money, $7 plus shipping for this. And I won't pay more than a dollar for them because, you know, you're only making like five bucks on the thing. It's not a whole lot of money. But if I have one, uh, I might buy a second and then I won't buy a third. I have bought uh, a few of these, even though I had some already, and I'll usually put them in the antique booth, and we usually sell these for more money in the antique booth, believe it or not, than you can get on eBay. We would put $8 on this thing in the antique booth, and I think we've sold three or four so far. And Amber, you left a message, but you left it in the messaging system, so I can't read it right now, but I do remember you asking me to sign this thing, so I'm gonna do that really quick for you and we're gonna send it off, and it's gonna have a perfect little case. We're gonna put this guy in the deviled egg container, and he's gonna be protected for you. All right, here is my Mercari sale, and I paid $2 for this at a garage sale. Hard to sell on eBay, because the Vero. I decided I'd put it on Mercari, see what happened, and I didn't have any trouble with it. It, it took a long time to sell, but it did sell, and I think it sold for $16 plus shipping, so. These used to go for like, you know, you could easily get 30 bucks for them all day long. All right, this one's going out to Nate. And Nate is a YouTube friend, and he has his own channel. And he does a morning show with Anthony Pittsburgh. 
and he has a great little show and they're they're a great little uh, team in the morning and his channel is called Every Day I'm Hustling and I was able to watch that actually today. I don't have much time to watch too many live shows especially during the spring and this one's in the morning so I can't watch it cuz I'm teaching but I have one little break that I can catch just part of their show every once in a while and I drop in and say hey. So Nate, thank you so much. And he he writes here, let me see what you write. He says, we love your channel and needed a boost of good luck and what better thing to help me than this guy. It's awesome to see a very kind person like yourself uh, start to do really well on YouTube. You have a great setup, almost ready with your shed. Keep it up and best of luck with you and your business and your family and everything you do, Nate. Every day I'm hustling. So if I can remember to link to every day I'm hustling's channel down there. I will definitely do that and, and all the kind words are appreciated and they're right back at you. We appreciate you and Anthony, by the way, Pittsburgh. Maybe I'll put a link there too. Thank you all so much. And I wanna see this behind you in, the, in your next live right there. I wanna see it behind you. All right, here's my interesting story. So I did a video with my nephew last June. It was one of the very first videos we did and it was called uh, Flea Market Picking Challenge. So easy a fifth grader could do it or something like that because my nephew was visiting from Arizona and we went and just, I gave him five bucks and had him go around the flea market and see what he would buy to see if we could make some money on it. And he did pretty good. He bought some He-Man stuff, some uh, Masters of the Universe. And while we were there, we found one of these plates and it was a buck, he had a buck left. I'm like, hey, why don't you get that? We'll take it home, look it up. It's gotta be worth something because it's a treasurer, it's the constitutional officer. And this isn't the one he bought. And I went back the next week and I found a whole table full of them. And there must've been 20 of them. And they were a dollar a piece. I'm like, geez, I'm gonna grab every single one. I sold a few off for 30 bucks a piece. And then I had a hard time selling the other ones off. So I put these on there as pairs, I think for 30 bucks a piece. I'm not quite sure. I think that's right, actually. Maybe $35 for a pair. And I listed like six pair of them, I think. And I saw them today in three different pairs sold for $117. So I'm in it for six bucks. And I was really excited about it. And then I saw a message and the message said, hey, can you hold on to these for, I can't remember how many weeks three weeks, 10 days, seven, I can't even remember what he said. I, it was a while, it might've been 10 weeks. Hold on to him for 10 weeks. And then they'll be back in the United States and then they can give you a different address. Well, I think it's a legitimate request. This person looks like they buy a ton. They have tons of feedback, but I'm not gonna do it. I sent a message back and I said, look, I'm gonna get dinged three times for not shipping these things on time and I can't do that. So if you wanna give me an address, I can ship them to right now. I'll even ship them uh, to another country for you if you like. I'll ship them. If not, you can cancel the order and then I'll relist them. Or I might hold them off of eBay, I suppose, but I probably won't. I'll probably just relist them and see what happens. So I, I'm still waiting for a response, but my guess is we're gonna have to cancel this order and we'll repost them and that's okay. All right, I haven't had too many Liberty University sales lately. This is for the for the library. I've never, I've never sold that one before. And this is a nice little embroidered Liberty University sweatshirt, size small. And this is going to the same buyer, first time eBay buyer, $17.81 plus shipping. And this one is $10. So paid a dollar for this one and paid, this one was probably a yard sale fine. So I probably paid no more than two bucks for it. So $3 into about 28 plus shipping. So that's a really good sale. All right, this one's going out to Sharon and it says, Kevin, absolutely love your videos and love your content. I learned so much from you and I appreciate your transparency. Getting ready to launch an eBay store and hope Inaman brings us luck in Massachusetts. Best Sharon. Thanks so much, Sharon. And we hope this little guy brings you some luck as well. All right, here's an interesting little item. And if you've been around the show, I often say, when in doubt, part it out. And this is a great example. I bought a New Wave Oven Pro, and it had all kinds of stuff to go with it. And it had all kinds of accessories. And it didn't work. We had, actually it worked. It just had a piece of the top missing. And I thought it was a little bit of an electrical hazard, a little heating element part at the top. And I'm like, I'm not selling this thing. And so I parted it out and I would have made, it's a little more work, but I ended up making a lot more money on it than I would have otherwise. And this item sold for $20 
plus shipping. And it's just a little rubberized, I guess it's not rubberized, it's what, silicone? Just a little silicone pizza tray. $20 plus shipping. All right, this one is going out to Ed, and Ed says, Hello, Kevin. My name is Ed. I am a very long-time watcher of both channels. However, I do not subscribe to anyone. <laughs> I follow you, Blue Ridge Mama and Homeschool Hustlers and Bubba, along with the furry ones. Gotta love them. I also watch Lonnie, Matt, John, Justin, Ryan and Pam, Roy and Kim, Pete, and even the rabbit. I've learned, and even the rabbit, that's interesting. I have learned so much from you guys in this YouTube community. I'm so grateful I decided it is time to instill some good luck into our little reselling adventures and nowhere better than the Inner Man from Kevin. So that is awesome. Thank you so much, Ed. Thank you for the funny little message right there. And I love watching those shows too. So that's very, very kind of you. We do appreciate it and we hope this guy brings you good luck. And thanks for watching both channels, even if you don't subscribe. We just had another Nathan um, buy one of these. No message, but thank you, Nathan. All right, it's that time of year again. This is a softball bat DeMarini Bruiser. It's not in great shape. You know, a lot of times you have to check for condition. And, you know, I was a baseball player, so you wear spikes. And sometimes to get the dirt out of your spikes, you'll knock the bat against the bottom of your shoes. And so sometimes you have some deep gashes in these. But a lot of times the softball bats don't have them. So that's definitely something to look for. This one isn't particularly clean. I cleaned it with a wipe. I didn't go in and get that magic eraser, which is a good idea. Get that magic eraser and clean them up really good. I didn't do that on this one because it wasn't a really high priced one anyways. Sold for $30. I paid five bucks for it. So $30 plus shipping. And I'll put it in one of the long USPS tubes. All right, thanks again for joining us. Thanks for keeping me company while my little ones and Blue Ridge Mama are away. I really do appreciate it. And I thank each and every one of you for watching. And don't forget to go check out Every Day I'm Hustling. I think he's got like 750 or so subscribers. So maybe we can bump him up a little bit and get him closer to 1,000. So thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time.